What's up, everybody? We are here for top six of Air Guys at CEO Taku 2023. God bless this ring. I'm here with my co-commentator, Risky Sweep. I'm Kateo. God bless the ring, Kateo. This has been a moment in the making here. The first, to my knowledge, PlayStation Air Guys tournament in the modern era. And definitely, like, the most that I know that was in an Air Guys tournament, also in this modern era. You're here with us. God bless the ring. Yeah, I know that. I'm pretty sure Jabela was tweeting about this being probably the definitely the biggest Air Guys tournament on Start GG at yes. the very least. To our knowledge, I mean, we don't really know how big tournament entries were back in the day. Right. If there were really even any Air Guys tournaments back in the day. I mean, there was there was an in actually, America. Yeah, in America. yeah. The only thing that they had there was like some like Air Guys like competition uh, like in the late '90s that went around. But I, there's no like signif significant results for that that we yeah. know about. But we do have. We're gonna etch in stone right here. Who is the best Air Guys player? still standing today. Yeah, I mean, I'm really excited to get into it. I'm curious to see what kind of a uh, character pool we're going to see. If we're going to see a lot of Final mm -hmm. Fantasy characters, if we're going to see, you know, maybe half and half. I know Jabaili said that he was playing Tifa after yeah. his dog. Yeah, yeah, shout out. You got to you gotta, you gotta rep the, the good boy. Yeah. <laughs> good girl. <laughs> so it's, uh, it is definitely a, uh, um, this is one of those things where, like, if you start looking for, like, Ur Ur guys footage and, like, things and strategy and tactics online, one, you got to go deep into the game fact mind. You yeah. got to go and try to, like try to decipher you gotta you gotta listen to game fact uh author opinions of the day yeah. and i was like you gotta like, kind of sift through that uh, but like still a valuable resource on that and the other thing is uh, mikado big one arcade streams on there unfortunately that's the arcade version so we don't have yep. access to <laughs> the characters that everyone's going to play including the final fantasy characters that we have in front of us right now i yeah. already see a tifa and a yuffie i was gonna say yuffie is one of those characters that is not in the arcade version of the game exactly so. yuffie kisaragi and she is an original character. She yes. Is, yeah. Yes. So like, there is there's Cloud, there's Tifa, there is mm -hmm. Sephiroth, Zack, Yuffie, and Vincent. Vincent and Zack are specifically palette swaps. Zack, mm -hmm. of course, of Cloud, and um, Vincent, I believe, of God Hand. Yes, I like has a very similar moveset to God Hand. One thing about Yuffie is uh, she does have some clone like clone attributes to, of Sasuke, but she's the better version of Sasuke. Like I think some of her our special moves are a lot better in how to deal with it than Sasuke on that. But it's still like like it's usually the preferred character over that dude. Yes. But I've seen both in this tournament so far, and we're already starting off with Tommy Tamsworth versus MZK Beast, and we are seeing a double Final Fantasy characters match. Tifa versus Yuffie already. All right, so yeah, we are going to be in the ring the entire time because one god has to bless this ring. We gotta, have, we gotta make oh, what, <laughs> what a cartwheel over. over on that. <laughs> um, and second of all, yeah, we do have a like we have it for first like first to three in the rounds, and the handicap is set to 208 HP in there, as is our going to be our standard for this. So if you need to define a standard for the future, we're doing it right here, right now. Here. Gotcha. I honestly, I thought that item boxes were part of the rule set. I thought that we were keeping those on this whole time. I, you know, I, I think uh, depending also uh, depending on the on the uh, the stage, you can have items on and off. In this case, we're final destination. Items off. Yeah. I mean, honestly, I don't. <laughs> I don't know if, it, if this is the type of tournament that honestly, if it had items on screen, I would not be complaining. This is the type of game that just have fun with it. You yeah, know no. You know the competitors are yeah. just here to have fun. A lot of the items you get, um, this is the pre-Power Stone uh, days too. So like you, you're you not trying to collect anything to go Super Saiyan or, or whatever, the Chaos Emeralds and, and all that. What you do have is you have like extra swords and little little things. In the meantime, we just have good old fisticuffs and uh, in Yuffie's case, a shuriken. Yeah, and Tifa. I mean, Tifa has those fireballs too. Yeah. Has, assumingly, I mean, I guess you could say it's a. You could say it's fire aga. <laughs> yeah, 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 definitely. As um, like you notice, if the, there's a second meter between the two, like you definitely have your life meter, but underneath of it, you have a special meter, yes. which uh, which is gets rehealed, uh, refills up at the end of every round there. But once you use it, you're out of it. Um, you you have to go in through that, and depending on how much you hold down on the special button, you have. You have high, you have a medium, you have a low, you have a guard, and you have a jump on there. But it's, uh, And you have your special also. But how long you do it will depend on how much meter you use. So if you hold down it for a long time, like uh, Tommy Tamsworth was trying to do earlier, like you do get like a homing version of that projectile, but you use so much more special meter. But that homing projectile is honestly, that move is ridiculous. Yes. Tifa, yeah. very, very good character. And really, you would think that a lot of her physical attacks would be where she really shines. But honestly, that fireball, this crazy damage, the tracking version will fly all around the screen, and it'll hit you who knows when. Oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. We saw a little bit of like kind of going back and forth here. K Beast with the the running like the running special move on there for it's trying to throw out those those shurikens on it. But right now we're kind of like keeping the dash up. This is a very uh, I like like normally when you're in a ring like this you expect them like to bounce off the ropes and whatnot. This is yeah. a very firm firm <laughs> ring here. Oh, ta uh, Tommy tried to go in there and do the uh, the home the homing uh, projectiles got punished for that process. 
Yeah, Yuffie using that shuriken even just on her back as part of her strings has big range to it. She's throwing shuriken all over the place. Yeah, definitely going in for a lot of these low attacks too, which you have to. Uh, um, this, if you if you're thinking like there's some like rules like Tekken in there, there's there's a reason for that. This was based uh, the original arcade version was based on a Namco Namco System 12 board that uh, okay. that they uh, that uh, that Namco and Square like collaborated like uh, to working on the process that, on that. And of course, like that the team working on Dream Factory, they took a lot of influences from Tekken at the time. Oh You'll, yeah, there's <laughs> literally a Mishima in this game. You you are going to see a lot if you're unfamiliar with this game. Uh, you're going to see a lot of moves that you might think, "Hey, that looks familiar." Yes. That looks familiar. Yeah. That, wait, wait a second. Wait, that's far. That's cause, uh, huh? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Definitely. If we like, hopefully we see a God Hand on there, and that, that is the most Mishima God yeah. Hand <laughs> Electric Fist character you're gonna see yet. I mean, even Tifa just has straight up um, Taihachi moves. That's at true. The, at yeah. the very least. Yeah, but already good strong start from. Uh, from, from Beast there, getting on over top, getting the first one o with the Yuffie there. And I didn't see a whole lot of Yuffie in the pools that I was in. Um, but it's like, it's no it's no stranger that for this game, for everyone just having a lot of fun here, we, we, we go in and try to approach with the Final Fantasy characters that we all know and love. Yeah, I mean, this being a Final Fantasy themed event, definitely the reason why it's here. Mm -hmm. I think we honestly want to see the Final Fantasy characters. They're fun. Yeah. Love them being here. A lot of uses of the lows in here. And that's one thing, like like in tech, and you have to, uh, you, like, in this case, you do have a guard button, but you do have to crouch, like, that will crouch uh, guard. If you're just yep. standing normally, you automatically block highs and mids here. So you're going to see a lot of low attacks trying to check those legs, check those shins. Yeah, he got that slide attack from Tifa, and then Tifa also has Heihachi's uh, Wave Dash 3, the one where he does a little <laughs> hop and then, he's, and then he goes low. Yeah. That move is uh, it's kind of nutty. It's kind of nutty. If you got them in the corner and they're not blocking low, that's a hard knockdown. Indeed. You don't want to get hit by that. And the atomic temple are trying to go in, slide into home a lot of times. And this, uh, and this time, KB's trying to use the uh, like a very linear move with the with the shuriken in there on this. And this is a 3D play, and you can get around that if you will. Yeah, the Tommy Tams with both low on health and on meter gets hit with the shuriken with four seconds left on the clock. Okay, right back at it. We are, um, to my knowledge, I think we are going first to two until you know your standard winners losing grand finals yeah. on that. So like, like no no exceptions there. So KB's one one step closer goes in with the running tackle, gets the punish on that. Yeah, you get the follow up in there, pushing closer to the wall here. But KB's on the turn. <laughs> and this is a big life deficit already. Tommy Tamsworth definitely started strong in that first game. I think wants to bring that momentum shift back. Okay, yeah. Just like oh, that. And that's a little move you I've been seeing a lot of people use. They like um especially uh Jabaley in this top six was using that move quite a bit to a success. It's like, oh, um it, this has been fun because like you can tell like where people have not like played this game a whole lot and they, they re, they're learning tech in the middle of the pool. It's like yeah. hold on a second, I can do that. I mean if you've ever played in a mystery bracket, this is a yeah. game this is a game that you might honestly see if you ever participate in a mystery bracket. So learning games on the fly in that type of setting is on I think it's one of the most fun things in fighting games. Oh yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Shout out to all the mystery game tournaments out there. All right, neutral movement. Nobody wants to get hit. Yeah, Tommy Tamsworth got two on the board there. Trying to get the follow up in there. KB is going in with the special in there, going and running. Gets uh, gets the side throw on there afterwards here. All right. What's Tommy Tamsworth going to do? It seems like uh, it seems like KB is uh, content what is this spinning? Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, you got to spin like a top thing and got a couple hits on it, but like the recovery on it afterwards gave KB's an opportunity, and now we're nearly down. We're two and two. We are on set point. Yep. Tommy Tams is going to have to bring this right back. I mean, two rounds to two rounds right now. Tommy Tams could easily take this to a game three. Yeah, and like not every every character has uh, a, a wide variety of throws. Also, similarly, you got a side throw, like back throws, like Tekken on there. You also have a three, like everyone has like a 360 command grab, really? uh, like one there. Like Yuffie does the the Izuna drop. I think several of them do like that, the, the Izuna drop in midair, like with like Sasuke and what whatnot yeah. as well. But I don't know if we're gonna see any of that in this process. <laughs> Tracking we'll on that shuriken, it's actually nuts. Yuffie flipped in one direction mm -hmm. and hit with the shuriken in the opposite <laughs> direction. <laughs> yeah, just like. They're like kind of nuts with the homing sometimes in this game for sure. Yeah. On that on physical moves on projectiles, whatever it is. Yeah. Oh, missed it that time. Going in the corner, having a wide tries to go with like a low sweep afterwards here. And this is kind of oh like no. going back and forth. Ooh! Just get the tail end of the clip there. We got the hold and just goes in for the grab. Ooh. Ooh. With the big a big stop. Devastating. That's a crazy damage. Or that's a crazy grab. Yeah. But KB's taking it. 2-0 over Tommy Tamsworth. Okay, and uh, that was on the loser side of things. So I think that is to get out of the 
out like to be out of the, in this er guys top six. God bless the ring. Yeah, time and time is over the, leaving with a respectable fifth place. Mm -hmm. I mean, honestly, it, it, being on stream for this game in the first place, I think, is something that I would, if I was yeah. up there, I know I'd be, I'd be talking about it. I'd be oh, holding yeah. that no, in high regard. Like, it's like, yeah, I was, I went to a Final Fantasy themed anime, anime tournament, and I got, I got, you know, top six in yeah. a, in the Final Fantasy themed video game. Got as a medal well. with Air Guys. God bless the ring yeah. on it. I yes. be, that'd be in a cabinet. That'd yeah. be, no, that'd absolutely. be in, a, in a box. Presenting that to my grandchildren is like, yeah, you see that there? Yeah. Yeah, that was that was Ur guys. You want to know about the war, the Ur guys war? I Those fought were in the it. The good old days. Yeah. The good old days. Talking about 2023, not yeah. not not way back there. Yeah, exactly. It's like, and it's like, Granddad, you tell the story every single <laughs> time. Please, have you won any other tournaments? Absolutely no. not. No, 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 no. <laughs> Never in my life. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, no. I've, CEO talk of 2023 has been a fantastic time this year. I've been. Like, it's been watching all over the place. We have had, had a, a fair amount of games, especially on Juicy Game Night here. Uh, I know you did Naruto earlier. Yes. Like, um, uh, was that on Friday? Uh, yes, Super okay. Clash of Ninja 4 was on Friday, and then we had Clash of Ninja 2 mm -hmm. yesterday, last night. Really, really good time. Great showings. Great. I mean, we had good numbers. We had mm -hmm. great matches. Oh, it was a yeah. really good time. Yeah, and it's just um, like between like a lot of the niche games that like sometimes don't get the love that they do. You just saw uh, uh, Denkeki Puko happen yeah. like just a second, like just a little bit ago, and it was just wild. Like kind of watching some of the matchups that were happening there as well. Yeah, got to see definitely great use of. Uh, I mean, really just everything great. Like mm -hmm. we were talking just right before this bracket, like seeing just the raw threat that some of the assists in that game. Have, <laughs> yeah, really like, yeah, definitely the, the food icon. Learning about that again, and it's like I just want to see three icons. That's all I want to see. I want to see explosions. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that's okay. We're in Ur guys. We can see those explosions happening. Yes. Maybe, like maybe, like we have a god hand pick in there. Maybe Set up the landmines in there. We got there. There are plenty of uh, you know, especially in this in this era of the game. Like we'll see where we got it uh, kind of go. We're, I'm expecting a lot of Final Fantasy characters though. Yeah. I mean, we know. I'm pretty sure we probably have the other side of losers here. We mm -hmm. should have Jabali with the Tifa against uh, who we got on deck. Oh, uh, we got Argon on, Argon. on there. So Argon, uh, definitely no stranger to a myriad of video games here. Um, and it looks like we might. Uh, okay, no, we're just going into the care, the 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 selection control screen. settings. Yep. Good old PlayStation One. Try to select your controls and try to guess based on that. It's a very nice screen, but it's very yeah. confusing. Yeah, I mean, even like just getting to the controls, like. It's easy to get to the control screen on accident. Yes. <laughs> honestly, from the placement of it, because it can be. It says like arcade yeah. or custom, and it's like one of those selections will just bring it to a mm. select screen. Like, oh, didn't mean to do that. Yeah, this was one of those video games, like the the arcade version especially. There wasn't a lot of arcade cabinets, but we did have one in my home, <laughs> in the home neck of the wor wor ruins in East Tennessee. Are we getting a Tifa mirror? I think we are. <laughs> Yeah, I like that love, that confirmation sound of Ur guys. Yeah. Put that if, on your phone. Make that you your, <laughs> your your text message sound. <laughs> oh. Yeah, no. I mean, I think I think a lot of people probably that's the only thing they know about this game is <laughs> yeah. that sound. They know God bless the ring. They know that sound. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh I uh, think they're check? they are probably doing a button check right oh. now. So. Mm. Um, that is to a button check, button check. Yeah. We, uh, hitting some menu buttons here. Yeah, there might have been some changes in there. Like, this is on a, we're using the Mr. version of this, of this, like, kind of set up here. And I, we were talking earlier about how, uh, how great the like the the Mister has been kind of updated with like PS One and yeah, everything else. Yeah, I don't. Like, seems I, like out of nowhere almost. There's plenty of games even that have been running here at this event. Even just today, we had Vampire mm -hmm. Savior earlier today. Mm -hmm. We had um, what was it two days ago? I believe it was uh, Sailor Moon S. Uh, all ran on Mister. Yep. That's a great little piece of hardware that allows us to run tournaments just like this one. Yeah. At an event like this, on a stage like this, on a stream like this. Yeah, especially without having to transport very, very brittle PCB boards <laughs> yeah. all the way through, all across the across the, the, the country on that. But of course now we, we do have Argon versus CEO Jub Bailey, the, the the man the of the hour at this event. The man, the myth, the legend. Oh and we got another Oh we got another air. Oh, like I love Mem Mem Alec mirrors. <laughs> Gotta love it. Back in my my C days. Uh, in the meantime, though, yeah, I do. Uh, Jabali, yeah, Jabali was like kind of like kind of getting on. That definitely wanted to play into the theme. I know last year, as soon as they announced like the theme of it, all I wanted was our guys to be on the menu. Yeah. And sure enough, we have it here towards the end of the event here, and it just like fits in so well with the theme, and it's been just fantastic. Yeah, I mean, I. I don't think you could have an event at a or a game that fits an event like this in the mm -hmm. first place. I mean, Siotaku is really one of the events that's 
for all the games that don't necessarily get shown off. You know, right. you got like here, you got Combo Breaker that is like these mm -hmm. two want all those crazy games. They want all the random games that maybe you don't see you get spotlight yeah. normally. Games you might see and just they might get an online tournament once a year. Yeah, I was wondering through the uh, the 24 hour uh, like bring your own uh, console area yeah. and like someone was playing Blade Arcus out there, like the the Shining Force yeah. fighting game, and I was like. That like I one, I was surprised I recognized that. Yeah. But two, it was like it's like this is awesome. I just watched that for a little bit. So yeah. it, just, it was it was just very nice to see like people other uh, like th some of the unknown games that don't get as much attention given to them mm -hmm. being brought here. I love it. Yeah, I mean I know in that same area I saw like I saw a Kiniku Man set up. Yeah. And I saw that they had like a, a strategy guide. They had a Japanese mm -hmm. strategy guide sitting on top of I think it was a PS2. Mm -hmm. Like if you want to flip through that, if you want to maybe kind of find out some things, if you yeah. can figure out what everything says. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, just to learn Japanese. So and so easy. Really so quickly. Easy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do, do, uh, do, just do it right there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, like in the meantime, yeah, definitely we we like we we suspect that Jabali picked Tifa because of his dog Tifa, and sure enough, has confirmed that to us. Yeah. Like that, you can like uh, just like gotta gotta bring that uh, bring that down in there as well. So, um, and I don't you know you know. I don't know if Jabali has gotten a medal at this this particular seat we're talking about. I'm so. not sure myself, but right. I mean, it, I, I'm pretty sure all of top eight or yeah. eventually just top six is getting a medal here. So you yeah. know, Jabali will be receiving a medal. <laughs> oh yeah. So it looks like we're getting things again set up here. It looks like we might be okay. Perhaps, perhaps. Um, one Ho thing, hopefully so. Yeah. Another thing that was this version of this game has that um, that you don't see in the arcade version in a lot of the arcade streams is you do have access to not only the extra Final Fantasy characters, but you do have access to the quest characters. You got uh, Claire Andrews and uh, Misuda, which are the uh, like there's this ex whole extra quest mode. Oh, you gotta love that sound. <laughs> oh <laughs> man, blasted. it's a MERS bow to even, my ears. Even from behind the speakers, I feel like it's blasting yeah. towards me. <laughs> yeah. Now we're just playing around. Play that funky music. Music. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, we are indeed getting the Tifa mirror <laughs> from both of these two. Okay. You got to love it here. You saw one Tifa. C count, count the Tifas at home so, so far. Yeah, three. that's three. Yeah. That's three so far. Yeah. Can, if, if you're out there in the chat watching with us, give us a God bless the ring. Let's go. Yep. All right. Starting off with these fireballs from Jabali, not too big of a surprise. There's yep. that homing fireball we were talking about earlier. Yeah, like you get two of them on the effective, and we're just going right into these lows, like checking those shins. The shin fighting champion, Jabali. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't matter how long you take to get up, the fire will come for you regardless. Yeah, trying to go in for the low. Right back at you. Baseball slides for days. No, no whiff punish on that get up kick. All right, trying to go Slide. back. Slide. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Running and sliding in circles around one another. Oh, yeah. Did, like, there's a little bit of a stun in there, and I like, kind of gave an after. <laughs> I, I, I forgot about the low projectile, actually, on that. So. Oh, no. Yeah, oh, Argon bringing it Argen all the way back. back. Looking at that crowd. So, believe in me. There's the Heihachi kick I was talking about earlier. Yeah. You see that? There oh, it is. Yeah. <laughs> Boom. OTG. Okay, yeah, on the wake up kick on the other end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Going for the headbutt afterwards. And uh, this is what a lot of what Jabali was doing in pools as well. Oh. <laughs> like kind of going in there, throwing out the projectiles while I still had him in on the special bar. And then going for yeah. that particular kick. The old, the good old law. The law kick. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm, I'm actually not even sure I've seen that move before. Yeah. So, like, like <laughs> Tifa has, she has, like, Heihachi moves. She, I'm pretty sure she has some Waron kicks. She has bomb moves. Yeah, another thing about this game is, like, moving around, you default to running around, and it's a very slippery. It, yes. it feels like you're playing a little bit of curling in that. But you do have access to a walk, and if, like, if, you, if you're trying to, like, you do a double dash while holding guard, you do a step, and you have different moves that come out of both. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, this game is like, this game has stuff. I mean, the people in the, the Game Facts post you were talking about earlier, talking, maybe talking a little bit of smack on Tekken. Yeah. <laughs> you know, they had some, they had some footing. Yeah, no, they definitely had some ideas, and they gave, like, on that, and, like, just, just shout out to that, like, for that lost knowledge, for sure. Okay, yeah, like, a little bit of pause on there. Argon up two over Jabali here. And, like, I like this. Argon is kind of keeping to the back here, just trying to get away from it. However, you're stuck in the corner. Oh, there was still a there was a kick after that jump on the on the on the landing. Yeah, you get the follow up on there. Argon taking up a taking the idea of like, oh, I like those low projectiles going for the fire on it. Jabali, stop dropping and rolling, making sure there. <laughs> if you're on fire, get it. Oh, try to go for. I believe that is the um, the like the the high the uh, high and low attack, which you yeah. can do a, as a mid. And if you put those together, sometimes you like depending on the character, you do different like cartwheels and stuff. So different button combinations happen in there. Then you can kind of do different things. 
Yeah, I mean, this is this is really a crazy game, <laughs> honestly. Yeah. I don't think anybody could deny that one. Oh, yeah, you have, like, if you're, like, again, using technology, you have wild rising moves if you really pa are patient enough to do that in this game. Yeah, I mean, that seems like it might be a, a little bit tougher with the mechanics. It's like trying to do a wall rising in Soul Calibur, where, like, if, you know, if you're not, like, a well-seasoned player of the game, I'm sure that maybe these players don't exactly have the most experience of anybody in the world, but... It's a little bit of an awkward thing to get used to at first. And when you when you have free movement in a game like this, and it's a bit of an interesting input. Okay, yeah, going in, just going in for the nice little combo there, and the high, 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 low. Try to go in, baseball slide, just get a little bit of extra combo. Does the double flip, are getting ready for the second one, gets a punish. Yeah, just building on that damage a little bit by a little bit. Is that still a fireball coming? To uh, try to hit him some It was, like, it, it, like, when you charge it up for a little bit, it stays out there a little bit longer, and I think actually will, like, the full charge version of it will eventually hit or try to get to you. But yeah. It, it, it plays on blue shell physics is what happens. Ah, okay. I see. I see. Okay. The fire will come for you one yeah. way or another. <laughs> one way. There's, there's no second place to get to hide behind here. All right. Oh, yeah. Kind of sliding into first base here. Yeah, there's that just simple string. Boxing in this game, staying up close is honestly so good. Yeah, <laughs> I just heard you Bailey shout. How did he do that? Yeah. Ooh, good. I'm going to phrase that as a counter fireball. Okay, just a little bit. Oh kind of keep it on the ground here. And there's, oh, there's two oh, of them. Oh, oh try, to, try to do what everyone learned in second grade fireball safety. <laughs> try to, like, roll past the fireball. Unfortunately, not to be Argon on set point. It's all, it's all coming really close. I mean, these are hard to, I think it's hard to get rid of these fireballs. It's hard to get away from them. Yeah. Going to get the follow-up on that. And yeah. like Argon is taking a little bit, though. I kind of keep the distance on there. And as there's just another fireball to finish it out, Argon going to be moving on against CEO Judd Bailey. Good stuff to Judd Bailey making top six today. Yeah. Like we said, he is still leaving here with a medal. Yeah, it definitely. I, <laughs> I'm going to be honest. I thought he was flipping. <laughs> <laughs> definitely, like, handing the card over at the end there. And it just, like, it's like... Like it's like I, I would I would expect it, but yeah, no, yeah. That's <laughs> certainly certainly not the case. But yeah, shout out to making it that far, especially for only spending about maybe like ten minutes prior to the pool to properly learn the game of any sort. So yeah, yeah there you go. You that's really I mean that's really impressive. When we were talking earlier about mystery game type stuff. Yeah, that's the type of thing you have in a mystery game where it's like if you're in a bracket for that, <laughs> you have, you run into like air guys. You gotta if you don't know anything about that game, you gotta find that game facts post as fast as yeah, possible. Yeah, what yeah, can I like, learn in and this you're two trying, minutes? You're trying to do it, it's like it's like don't don't let the TOs know I'm looking at my phone. Yeah. <laughs> don't don't tell them. Oh, they're looking over here quick. <laughs> no, I never I mean I never I never do never that. Never done that. Never, before in my never life. done that at a mystery tournament. <laughs> innocence. Innocence. Uh, <laughs> but the uh, but yeah, um, this is um, like it's been kind of fun. We've like had a, a bunch of Tifa presents, kind of showing off, you know, the whole uh, everyone wanting Tifa and Tekken yeah. thing. Hey, you know, oh, uh, yeah. maybe this is a sign. Maybe this is a popularity poll. Maybe this is data to show Bandai, Bandai Namco. Who knows? Who knows out there? Yeah, I mean, I think we should get a. Clearly, what we need is an Air Guys remake. Yeah, mm, I mean, clearly, anything is possible these days. We get remakes for everything. Yeah, so. I mean. Square's um, bringing in those Final Fantasy bucks lately with yeah. Final Fantasy 16. Yeah, there we go. Never know. Never yeah. know. You never Remake know. Part 2 coming out soon. Just got all those trailers recently. Yeah. I mean, maybe a side game. Maybe side game. You it's, know, like, uh, it's like how in the Yakuza series, honestly, you know, you got like Virtual Fighter in there. Honestly, if Gold Saucer in the remake has like Ur guys in like the arcade area, that Ooh. would be that would be the best. That would be amazing. That like, would please make do it. That. That Square. Would, Square, I got a suggestion card for you. Please do that. That's like one of the types of things where, like, theoretically, that could become, like, the way to play the game. Yeah, that would be like, exactly. <laughs> like, like, the playing uh, uh, Virtual Fighter 5, like, in, yeah, in, in, in Yakuza, Yakuza 7. Like yeah. Saying. It's like, that's how you could play Sonic the Fighters. You could play Fighting Vipers mm -hmm. like that. You could oh, play yeah. Virtual Fighter. You could play you could play Virtual Fighter 2 and mm -hmm. 5 Final Showdown like that. Oh, yeah. And for a long time, that was the only way to play the version of Final Showdown that uh, was, like, the most recent one. Until, really? like, uh... Until the PlayStation. Uh, on modern consoles, you mean? Yeah, on modern yeah, consoles, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, in the meantime, looks like we got our winner's match happening, our heaven side bracket, yeah. uh, with regular size Majin versus four face buttons. Yeah, Majin, definitely no uh, no stranger to this type of game. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you, if you name a fighting game to Majin, he has heard of it. He has probably played it. I mean, I know I talked literally earlier about a, about a mystery tournament. I mm -hmm. played him in a mystery tournament. Oh. We, we played, um, <laughs> I can't remember what it was. It was a... Uh, Oh, this is killing me that I'm forgetting it now. It was, uh, I was an unreleased, oh, 
Uh, forget it. Oh, yeah. But we well, played. We played. Yeah. And of course, it was like, oh, he had experience. Yeah, and of he course. And he just destroyed me. Just happened to remember that. In it the was literally an unreleased, <laughs> a, a, a fully unreleased game. Oh. <laughs> just and, he had, and he had played it. Okay. Oh, wait. We actually do have a double no Final Fantasy yeah, match here. So we got the one of the original. Actually, both of these original characters are Ur guys. One of them is Dasher Inaba, your re the wrestler character, usually in the young the young lion outfit, but using the uh, but the, uh, the the like using the two P version of that versus four face buttons. Did you use a Masuda, which is the character from the quest quest mode? I apologize, I remember it. It's Don Kuga. Oh, it was okay. Don Kuga. <laughs> but regular size Majin, actually a little bit down in this round so far. Masuda, I believe, generally considered the best character in the game versus Inaba, who is still a popular character pick for sure. Yeah, yeah. Inaba is uh, your typical wrestler. Like, you'll see some king moves happening going on here. Yeah. The follow up, yeah, you get the follow up with the stun Ooh. afterwards. Going in, arm break ball. that arm. There we go. Regular says Majin taking the first round. Yeah, and, and Mas uh, Masuda's no slouch to grab, like, doing the grabs and follow up, but good break from regular size Majin on here afterwards. You know, now, now that I think about it, it's no surprise that, a, uh, that someone with the Majin last name is playing a grappler. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah. You're absolutely right. Yeah, look at these these Nina-style chain grabs almost <laughs> from Masada. Perfect. That's the first perfect we've seen in this top four, or top six. Yeah. Four face buttons, trying to go in more for the dash. Use it like, I like that from regular size Majin, was able to jump over and try to avoid much of the dash in there. That would guarantee a grab from uh, Masuda. Yeah, it's really scary. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's like a better version of Marduk. It really is. It's kind of, uh, honestly, in this game, if you're playing this game and you see like the red, the red dash up here, and it's like, with how the controls are, it's a little scary. Like, it's terrifying. Yeah, with the slipperiness of controls, it might be a little bit hard to uh, react accordingly to what's coming towards you. Okay, yeah, they're going to the king, like breaking those ankles. And that's another round for four face buttons. Yeah, I think we're seeing really where that strength of Masada is off those the damage on those grabs and how potentially easy it could be to get them. Yep. All right. Yeah. Get the follow up on there. It feels like it feels very much like like Clark and King of Fighters at yeah. this point. Like the grab is what's going to make the win. Hmm. Headbutt. Keeping you in place. Ooh. Ooh. Headbutt. Headbutt. Uh. Uh, crowd cheering along with it, like like seeing the ring. Oh yeah, into the corner we go, trying to get that leg lock, getting the KO, we're up 2-2. Two, two. Yeah, no, these two are really actually back and forth at this point. Just tacking on the damage. Okay, yeah, four face buttons, went for the low, try to go in for the grab afterwards, no can do, into a jump, into the empty low. Yeah, these strings so good, keep oh, it in the corner with keep those it. staggers, oh, get. The interrupt. And we haven't parry. seen one of those yet. Yeah, that's our first parry. Yeah, so what happens with those is like depending on special moves. Oh, hold oh, on! Boom, that's boom, dead. Bong. God bless the ring. <laughs> yeah, I guess we are in the ring. Yes, the ring where everything's happening. We got actual wrestlers and grappling happening. It's all good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but yeah, what happens is like depending like on special moves and certain like chains, like you can you can you can stop it by hitting the special button and you get that interrupt like that. And four yeah. face buttons are very aware of that. Yeah, I mean, if regular size Majin could uh, keep those up, Masada, while having those really good strings, if you can interrupt them, then uh, that's where you can find your openings a lot of times. Okay, yeah. Okay, so just the straight up jump in there, get the follow up, but waits in there, gets a tackle, gets a little bit of extra damage. Mm, like off again. Okay, yeah. Oh, you yep. stay on the ground, you didn't roll out of the way. Time for more damage talking coming about, your way. Talking about a wrestler character, I don't even know what some of these moves are called. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, getting. Uh, yeah, just running away from it. Now trying to use uh trying to use that like that string that was working so well for four face buttons until it was getting interrupted. Yeah, nice I'm gonna I'm gonna still call it a shimmy. Nice little shimmy. Yeah, you know that I would call that a shimmy. It's a shimmy at the run around basically yeah. at this point. <laughs> the free <laughs> movement shimmy is yeah. so funny. <laughs> free movement games are so funny. I like I love that they just like they don't even they don't even like backstep. They're just running the opposite direction. Yeah, and then it's important to know that like you do have special moves, you do have quarter circle inputs, but depending on which uh, which way you do the quarter circle, it depends on where the special move is getting hit in it. Yeah. So like you got to do like up to uh, like up to left to go like on the, the upper right right quadrant. You got to worry about quadrants in this game for sure. Yep, managed to get that second grab. Regular says Majin taking round two of this game to two rounds to nothing at the moment. Okay. And remember, this is winner's final, so we are still, we are in first to three territory. Okay, yeah, get off me. Gets on the grab. It's my turn. It's my turn to stay up on there. Gets the follow-up on there, guaranteed. Pretty sizable life lead here. 
Yeah, yeah. throwing him right off of him. He's chops. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and gets the follow up. Oh, oh! pile driver. That's regular size Majin. 2 0 up right now. Everybody's reminding him. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, this is on winner's finals. Yeah, so it is three out of five. Air Guys is three. Yeah, Air Guys. <laughs> 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 oh boy. <laughs> but yeah, all right, going back and forth the shin there, looking for that low attack. Yeah, both of them just with tiny tiny little lows, you know, maybe if I can get a little toe tap. Yeah, just going down in there. Oh, trying to go grab it like uh don't go to count, but yeah, Inamo does have a dash similar to what you were seeing from Masuda earlier. Just doesn't get to use it as much L or as much or as easy as like as Masuda was having it earlier. Yeah, I mean, it, it's like, it, it really is kind of like you were mentioning Clark earlier. It's like a 3D version of Mount Tackle. Yeah. Just yeah. run across the screen, trying yeah, to get you. If only, like, they could do, like, the Clark, like, throw, grab, throw, grab, yeah. throw, grab. <laughs> throw it up! Yeah, getting the follow-up. All right, back on the ground we go. That's going to be a KO for four face buttons, looking to try to change things around down two. Yeah, no, I mean, being down two games, in a, in a first or three set, being down two games is, like, it's so it's so scary. You don't want to go out. You don't want to go out 3-0 if you can help it. You want to put up a fight. You want to put up a show. But I mean, it happens at the same time. Everybody goes 3-0 or everybody loses 3-0 at some point. Right. It, exactly. In the meantime, trying to stop that fate from happening here. Try to go in for it. Yeah. You do have a limp die. As long as you're holding guard, you can roll as long as, as much as you want on the ground. Now with familiar territory, Masuda, yeah, got the counter on that afterwards and try to get away from any of the grabs in there. Use that long reach of the of the mid in there to get like follow up in there. And so far, it seems like it's working in Masuda's favor. Yeah, I mean, uh, Four Face Wizards has been also just using good. I mean, good use of those rolls on the ground, trying to keep himself from getting grabbed as well, doing some whiff punishing. But it's not going to work right there. Is that a game for Majin? Yep, yeah, it's it a round. What a comeback from regular size Majin. All right, kind of keeping back here. Unfortunately, put themselves in the corner, the, like the literal 3D corner. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Yeah. yeah, the corner of the ring. That's the place you don't want to be if you can help it. Yeah, all right, just going in. Can, like the, the high, high mid string. Yeah, get the follow up. Oh, yep. puts them down. That low, low. Bop, bop. Nope, throws it right off of him. No finisher. Yep. Oh, headbutt. Yep. Oh. Is that another one? No. No, like fall off all on the four face buttons getting getting two on the on the board, trying to change this up. Yeah, that was kinda I, I think the another funny thing about a game like this with the camera like this is like you couldn't see that final hit of that string. Oh, yeah. I, I I didn't even know it was coming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was just at the very last moment there. Oh yeah, okay, ready for it, but uh wise decision from regular size Bajan to just roll out of the way, waiting for it to counterattack, waiting for that to finish off. Four face buttons at a life deficit here. Regular size Majin wants to bring this two set point here. Okay, yep. Uh, misses on the drop kick here. Again, like I like that. Like four face buttons is going a lot for that uh, that that mid kick into uh, into the low, just because of the the reach it has on it, and following up with like kind of rush down, and they're hoping to get the massive damage from that afterwards. Yeah, we got so much funny little evasion here. You know, but with that body slam attack in the air, four face buttons just needs to run around it. Yeah, nice little arm lock there, trying to go for it. Oh, misses on it, and the whip punish is we're gonna grab you, and you get that bonus. No, that covers no. just a little in time here. A little bit of a baseball slide. All right, one good grab from regular size Majin. This could do it. Yeah, but gets, oh. no, the break at the very last second. But gets in with the with the <laughs> with the Irish whip at yeah. the end there, <laughs> and it's going to be regular size Majin moving on to to grand finals. Yeah, that's 3-0. Good stuff, regular size Majin. Good stuff to both players here. I mean, mm -hmm. definitely almost saw, I think we could have just seen a big comeback right there. I think that could have been a whole momentum shift. Yeah, definitely like was realizing a few things in the middle, like uh, kind of learning as you go in the middle of this matchup, realizing it's like, oh wait, hold on, this is working particularly well against yes. Dasher Inaba on that and, and kind of do it, trying to adjust from there. And that was that was some really good adjustments, but was unfortunately not able to get secure that victory. Yeah, I mean, I, I think that definitely seems like a case of, you know, you have character match of course, I think you also have to worry about in a game like this. It's a game where you got the player matchup. If both yes. players are not like incredibly experienced, uh, experienced players in it, especially for a game like this. If you're finding out that something specifically is working against that player, yeah. you want to take keep, advantage. Keep abusing <laughs> it. Keep breaking that ankle. That ankle needs to you know, like just send them to the hospital, basically. Yeah, just, just, yo, was that plus? Is that yeah, plus? Yeah, that like, plus? yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, sure. yeah, yeah. That shirt was plus. Yeah, yeah. Believe me. Yeah, just keep blocking it. Yeah, believe me, the player facing. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, we still got plenty 
of plenty of matches still to go through forward. I believe we are probably going to go through KB versus Argon happening next as well. Alrighty, so that should be what? Tifa? Is that Tifa versus Tifa? Um, or is that Tifa versus Yuffie? I think that's Tifa versus Yuffie. Tifa versus so. Yuffie. Cool. So we're seeing a repeat of that previous losers match okay. in terms of character matchup. Yeah, like a lot of characters that I was kind of expecting to see, we did. I did see a bunch of uh, Sasuke, the the ninja, the Oshimitsu yes. clone, basically out there. We got the we got Yuffie, who has a lot of the same moves there, but we uh, we haven't seen any God Hand, we haven't seen uh, any Yoko with the yo-yo and all that. Some of the characters, the original or guys characters that are being like it's known for, but it's like no, they they put it on the featuring Final Fantasy characters yeah. on the box for a reason. <laughs> That's what I was sounds. gonna say. I mean, if I know that if I was picking up this game, especially if like if I'm a younger kid, I see this game, yeah. I see Cloud on the box, yeah. I'm playing. Cloud. Um, this has Cloud on it. Yeah. Cloud, <laughs> give, I like Cloud. <laughs> I mean, if I was playing this game right now, I'm a, I'm a, I'm the type. I love Vincent. Yeah. Oh, Vincent yeah. or Yuffie for sure. Yeah. I mean, Vincent already being a, a skin swap of an already very good character. <laughs> yeah. Like, they're no brainer, no mm. brainer for sure. Absolutely, absolutely. So yeah, we're getting some uh, controller, uh, like all, all the things fixed, uh, fixed up here. You're gonna get hear that beautiful dulcet tones of Urguys here in one second. Oh no, they're just gonna nope. go with all button slow. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, no, never mind, not yet. You're not gonna hear that quite yet. But almost. But nope, the entire weekend of CEO Talk of twenty twenty three has just been fantastic. I've been yeah. really uh, I've I felt like um, like this is one of my favorite events to go to just because like everyone like the love and passion that everyone has for their games. Yeah, here. no, I mean it's like we were talking earlier about how this is, you know, the one of the tournaments where you get to see people who really love some of those specific little niche games come out. I mean, we got like you got Sailor Moon that's happened, you got Smash sixty four, mm -hmm. you got I mean, oh, yeah. we got the Clash of Ninja games. This is one of our the the majors for Clash of Ninja. Oh yeah, yeah. It's I really nice to see some of those like smaller niche communities, people who really love those games come out mm -hmm. and play. All right, we're getting into it. Like, looks like hovering over the Tifa on player one side. Oh, we're going for the Claire Andrews. All right, that is the other quest character that is uh, that is uh, exclusive to the PlayStation version of this game. Um, and has a there are some moves that are like similar to what you see from like Yoko, Yoko and um, and what you're seeing from Tifa here on here. But we're gonna I th like I'm not as familiar with them as compared to Masuda on here. But yeah, you see it going in baseball slides early on here, trying to go in for these low attacks. Yeah, I mean I, I'll be honest, her design almost looks like what a modern Tifa. Yeah, yeah. Looks Tifa, like. Tifa, Tifa had to go for a morning run earlier. Yeah. It just hasn't <laughs> hasn't changed yet. Oh, but these jumping kicks, that was doing big damage. All right, yeah, kind of using the step in there to kind of like push the game. Yeah, you do have like again when you hit guard, you kind of like can kind of do a step, and you can follow it up with a move if you think they're going to do something. But in the meantime, you're having to deal with these projectiles. Yeah, with that free movement, I mean, if you're throwing just those low projectiles, you're not using uh, those homing fireballs. You're probably gonna have a little bit of an easier time getting around it. Okay, right now it's just yep. a lot, a lot of slides There's in here. There's those stepping lows I was talking about earlier. Mm -hmm. The Hihachi move is so, so good for Tifa. Yeah. Oh, missed it on there, but was able to block just in time there. Argon still has a chance. There's that scissor kick. And oh, the drop kick. Oh yeah, yeah. Now you're just really in the corner, trying to uh, trying to spin around. Like it looks like the like the Tekken 5 Oscar spin right before the kick. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. All right, he wants to st wants to say, Argon, you gotta come to me. I got the big life lead right now. You got to come to me. All right. Yeah, going to follow That's it. A punish. Yeah, pushes all the way into the corner. Good position for KB's to be in. Like with that life lead, does get it one to one. All righty, KB's has been taking pretty good advantage of these strengths. Don't know just how much Argon knows this character. I mean, that's like we were just saying. That's the type of thing. If you don't know this character. You might end up having a little bit more trouble yeah. than you think. Oh, and that's one thing about like firing out the projectiles. They just kind of stay there for a little bit. They don't go away as soon as they hit a wall. Yeah, got to make sure that you don't just get up right on top of a projectile. You, know? <laughs> you want to make sure you're able to block it. Exactly, exactly. All right, kind of stuck in it, like sliding on the wall here. Yeah, there's that drop kick again. All right, going in back, back in at KB's up two. Argon definitely not out. That's for sure. Yeah, these sliding kicks from both characters. So, so strong, so fast. Yeah. Okay, going in. Once again, these these lows, and a lot of it's just because, like, oh, I can get away with it. I get, like, a little bit of damage, whittle down that, uh, break, uh, uh, like, chop down that tree, basically. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, Argon looks like they're wanting to uh, 
tight. We wanted to even this one up a little bit. But KB's fighting back. Just hit after oh. hit after hit after hit. Yeah, got, uh, got him with the, cor like, the corkscrew kick. And there it is. Oh, changing characters? Yeah, we might have a switch over Tomasu to Masuda. We got a quest battle. We got quest like I don't know. I don't rem I didn't play a lot of the quest mode. I'm going to admit that right now. I don't know if this is a lore battle. I th I think they're on the same time. So I, I like to think it's a lore battle in my head. You know what's a lore battle in this game? Plot versus Sephiroth. Oh yeah. Yeah. Sephiroth. <laughs> These kicks. <laughs> <laughs> Those kicks with like the like throwing out there. I'm not even going to try to replicate these noises there. <laughs> yeah. That's a that's a 15 takes in the studio. All right, we'll use that one. For yeah, sure. yeah. Like definitely, it's like please, please, like we're gonna get all the takes we can as much as possible. All right, yeah. Like Hana holding back here. A lot yeah. of like using going into that like the high jump kick in there to get a follow up, and uh, KB's getting stuff confirms into the first round. Yeah, not certain how uh, how sure Argon really is of this counter pick. I haven't seen any big money moves from this Masuda yet. Okay, yeah, going in with the low, and I like that, like, kind of using, like, a brief, like, bit of uh, the dashing low in there and trying to keep you guessing with the spins, and they keep working, especially yeah. all this damage in the corner. There we go. There's the first big grab yeah. from Argon. Yeah, there's and there's several stages of that. If you don't break it in time, like, you could, like, get massive damage and lose nearly half of your life bar. There we go. That should be a punch. No, misses the timing. No, you whip the oh, first one. Just do another. Yeah. And this is going to be set point for K-Beast. All right, set it up. That was definitely an Asuka spin right there. <laughs> <laughs> Asuka would not be developed for another six years. Exactly. Here's, like, here's the inspiration. Yeah, Little like, did we know. Yeah, here's unblockable three for you. Already getting down <laughs> with the tackle. Like spinning over. You got that corner advantage here. Big life that lead. Been, that's a KO. And that's 2-0 for K-Beast. Yeah, the lightest of fist bumps in there. K-Beast going to be moving on into uh, I believe the hell by uh, you hear the crowd. God bless the ring. Say God it with me out there, crowd. Hey. Woo. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what there is to say. This yeah. was a, that was still a great match. The yeah. counter pick not really working out, but really Claire looks like a fun character. Yeah, I, I do appreciate the counter picks, especially like 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 this. We don't get to see I mean we don't see get to see a lot of characters because yeah. we don't get to see a lot of her guys. Yeah. But uh, being able to see like a bunch of the characters that we typically wouldn't see in like a tournament setting for these like it's just really yeah. cool. Yeah, as so. much as we want to see these Final Fantasy characters, it is, it is yeah. fun to see the original characters getting some love from these from our top yeah. six. I mean, I could really see it either way. If we saw all Air Guys characters, if we saw all Final Fantasy characters, if we mm -hmm. saw a split, either way, I mean, I'm I'm happy. Yeah, exactly, exactly. I saw a lot of clouds in there. I didn't see a lot of Sephiroth actually in like in the pool, at least the pool I was in. Not so. from what I saw, no. 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 No, um, not even no, no love for uh, Zach Fair either, who's just uh -huh. a clone of Cloud, which yeah. is really funny <laughs> to say really now funny. thinking about that. But regardless, <laughs> 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 but uh, but yeah, we're just kind of getting in everything all set up here. Hope you're having a good time at home, enjoying all this action with us. Yeah, this final day of CEO Taku is almost coming to a close, so you know, gotta enjoy what we have left while we still have it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so they're they're getting everything all set up right now. Like, definitely have a little bit of a crowd kind of going on here. Um, yeah, like everything else, like been like multiple ballrooms kind of going through. Like, had like going through the arcade and all that. I know. I there's been like constant Puyo, Puyo Tetris happening yeah. out there 24 hours. Yeah, that four player cab is honestly so exciting. I really wanted to go check it out at some mm -hmm. point. Still over. If it's still over there after this, I might I might pop over there. Yep, still a chance. Still a chance. Uh, yeah, getting the button set up. It looks like we got four face buttons versus KBs. This is going to be for Hell's Finals. Yes, could go. Let's see. This will be. We could see. We could potentially. Let's see. That would be. I'm completely blanking. Could be Claire versus Masuda, or ooh, are we, we might. See, are we getting are we the Vincent? Vincent? Are we getting? Vincent? Are we getting the Vincent? Give me, give me, give me, give me. Yeah, give me the thumbs up. The crowd liking it. Crowd no. Like, oh. <laughs> I wanted it so bad. Uh, Yuffie. All right. Okay. We are getting, we are seeing the return of the Yuffie. And I, I wouldn't think uh, Vincent's not that bad of a choice on there. It no. just seems like a, a worse version of God Hand as a whole. Yeah. Uh, because God Hand has so like really good Oki. As soon as you knock down, you just land put place a landmine and you get it all as a problem. Oh! Someone's been learning in between battles here, <laughs> I see. One to show off the move. 
Uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's like we keep talking about this game, any little bit of knowledge you can get in between matches, you want to take advantage of it. But this is big damage from Masada, as we have seen in these previous matches from four face buttons, the follow up, the tackle. Is that yeah. it? Oh. That's not it just yet. Yeah, one more face to go. Tried to go for the low, but already up in the time and using that big ball rising. Actually gets it hit with the shuriken, just takes it all, fights that shin, brings it down, gets the first round. Yeah, let's see what K-Beast can use. There's that spinning move again, just blocking all of it. Oh, yeah. Oh, you get to see like Yoshimitsu, open. too. Yeah, like Yoshimitsu, like Kunimitsu. All right, yeah, just sliding in the corner, getting that damage, keeping you down. He's overheads. Surely yeah. she jumps so high. Holy, holy, that, that, that's a lot of that's, that's a lot the, of vertical. That is the highest I have seen a character get in this game. That, that jump goes so high. But that's KB's bringing it right back in their own round. Yeah, <laughs> I hear the crowd like Steal shouting. Steal his materia. <laughs> yeah. It's like, I don't know if he has materia or not. <laughs> Little do we know, this is what gives all the characters their powers in this oh, game. Yeah. They all have materia. Oh yeah, no, there, there's, there's a sword. Actually, uh, the story mode has something about like, like there's a substance called materia or the sword's called materia. Wait, really? I believe. Yeah. Is, is not, that real? <laughs> yeah, 100%. Um, yeah, little did we know, God Hand's grenades, those are just made of magic. Yeah, it turns out, like, you know, magic is a source of all ammunition. <laughs> <laughs> they don't teach that in school. <laughs> so, all right, yeah, getting thrown out, our, like, early shurikens on there. Getting yeah, the this this seems like a character that it, the running back and throwing some shuriken would definitely not be an unviable strategy, that's yeah. for sure. Oh, yeah, yeah, following up with the tackle afterwards here. We're playing Marduk style, getting the follow-up with the arm lock. Yeah, what's the option? There's that grab. It's One more time. Yeah, might as well do it. All right, this has definitely been a back and forth match. So who's to say who's going to take this first game in our losers finals? Yeah, four K-Beast with a little bit of a lead to start. Yeah, four face buttons, been trying to go in with these lows and trying to approach. Uh, not a whole lot of dashing in for the tackle afterwards, just trying to get the confirm into that. Unfortunately, K-Beast is just going on a terror with that. I think, was that backflip? Was that a June backflip? Did you it, notice that? It, it, like, <laughs> either that or a law one, like where like yeah. the law where it kind of like falls down. It's either one yeah. of those. It, it, was like a, it was like a back handspring. Yeah. There was definitely like, I think in this collaboration when they're working on it, it's like, here, we got some animations for you. Yeah, just just don't don't tell the teacher. <laughs> don't tell the teacher you caught where you copied it from. Bop, bop, bop. Full damage. Arm bar. And you already down to below half-life. That's really scary. Gets grabbed again. Punch, 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 punch. Arm bar. Yeah, tried and true, almost done with it. And just like one low kick is all you need. Yeah, that Masada pressure, that Masada Oki so scary. Oh, oh, grabs her back. Yeah, I think that was trying to like, trying to turn around to do the attack and was just a little out of the way there. And that gave uh, four face buttons opportunity to get that uh, like attack back on here. And there we goes, one more tackle for you, for you, the crowd. Arm bar. So Ooh. many of these arm bars, that does. Uh. Nutty damage. Yeah, like a like a sickening crunch with it. Yeah. <laughs> that shuriken trying to get in. Yeah, KB's re relying on that shuriken follow the roll to just close the distance to get a little bit of damage in the process. Problem is, once you do that, you're having to deal with like you've got a little more than enough time to grab and tackle and get the damage back on you. Four face buttons up too. Yeah, I like the way that Yuffie looks like it almost looks like she's using the shuriken like it's a sword. Yeah. Like stabbing at the it's ground. Like I know it. how shurikens work, yeah. right? <laughs> That's a very interesting use for one, that's for sure. She's, you know what she, she's grabbing it to hit them with? She's just yeah. picking up the blade. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Like, you gotta, gotta have gloves to handle that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, she's got those thick leather mitts. Yeah. All right, yeah. She uses the special on there, charges it all the way on that. Fortunately, KB does get the punish on there, although the tackle afterwards, first face button getting a clean 3 0 that time around. Yeah, going to. Oh, character select. Who we switching to? Going back to Claire, all okay. right. That dominance performance from last round. Okay, yeah, definitely. It's like okay, the Yuffie not working. Let me uh, let me switch it up there. Definitely was able to use that one jump kick that went straight high. Oh, try, like unfortunately went to the running roll on the wrong way. There's that kick though. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see uh, if Claire's strengths really do potentially outweigh Masuda's here. Just uh, just enough to take this game. Okay. Yep, another arm bar bringing it down here, waiting on that. And I like that, just waiting for the distance in there, realizing that a counterattack, oh, the wake up attack was going to happen in there. It just gets it not enough to kill, though. One more touch was all it can do. Yeah, that wasn't even, you know, they say just a pixel of health. That wasn't even a pixel. There was yeah, nothing no, there in that was health nothing, bar. There was nothing but a dream in that life bar. Yeah. 
But you know, in this ring that has been blessed by God, anything mm -hmm. is possible. Yes, exactly. Through the ring, all things are possible. Yeah, all things are indeed possible. We got a God bless to this mess <laughs> and this ring. All right, waiting for KBs to get up to bring in your next option. That that I don't know, I don't even know what to call that. Just the, ta <laughs> the running, jumping tackle from Masada. Like, Such a funny little animation. Yeah, I call it working. That's what I call yeah. it. <laughs> there. Okay, yeah, goes forward. It tries to bring out the knives and get the follow up on there. Unfortunately, misses on it. Whiffs on it. So, a lot of this from KBs has been trying to be outside of the range and do that uh, that big uh, that big vertical kick on there. Unfortunately, getting punished for it every time. Yeah, I mean, it's looking like this counter pick is maybe not working out in KB's favor quite yet. Maybe getting reused, to, maybe getting reacclimated, maybe getting reacclimated to a style of play different from uh, their former opponent here with four face buttons instead. Okay, yep, got it. Got an extra kick here. He's still stuck in the corner. Actually goes all the way wow. and had enough energy on that dash in there. That, like, so funny, just kind of watching it in like a shopping cart. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Alrighty, one good command grab from four base buttons should finish off this round, or this game three. But K-Beast is not out yet. Land an OTG, no. Well, good string from either player. No, that's oh. K-Beast's round to take. Yeah, the, the low into the high, finishing off, and they're still alive in this match. Yep, figuring things out little bit by little bit. That's all you can do in a situation like this. Okay, yep, going ahead. Good job keeping him from getting into that corner where he was trying to stay a little bit defensive. Oh, oh, Big get a damage. devastating throw from Claire from K-Beast. Mm -hmm. Boom, boom, boom. And that is another arm bar. One more of those command grabs, but KB says no, 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 not today. Yeah, KB will go re-blind back on the lows and to go in like close the distance in there, followed by the vertical There's kick those vertical in there. Kicks. That looks like is that a high crush? I think that was a high crush. I actually. think it is at that point. It's just like it's working as one right now, and it like keeps on going, going in, following, like knocking down. These overhead kicks. Did yeah. that just completely evade it? That's sweet. Uh, yeah, I think so. That's crazy. <laughs> All right, kind of keeping the distance a little bit more. Again, Masuda now on that pixel. Oh. Does get that confirm on there. KBs is up two to one. Yeah. Was that two to one? Yeah, this is on Hell's Finals, but it's a... Uh, but it's a... Um, yeah, they were just double checking on that and yep. going back into restart. And here we go. Yeah, I know I'm definitely the same way when I'm not 100% sure of a game count. I'm like, hey, audience, where, where are we yeah. at? <laughs> But no, of course, no counter pick from four face buttons sticking with the Masuda. Yep. Oh, yeah, come re reach out, give us a hug, goes into a followed by, oh, yeah, goes in the arm lock. There you go, plenty of damage. Yeah, good. definitely a good way to start off this game, uh, game four. Excuse me. Yeah. Oh, get it. <laughs> it just brings out a sword. I don't think yeah. I've seen that yet. Those are just like bigger versions of the knives that she had earlier. Yeah, it's I like, it's like it just goes goes to the knife shop. It's like, I got all these knives. Look, check yeah. it out. Check out my really cool knives. Just went to the mall yeah. specifically to go to the knife shop just for these yeah. really cool knives. Yeah, like the material girl sold me some shurikens. It's all good. <laughs> yep, arm bar. bar. What's the option? These lows. Oh, was that, that looked like it was almost a counter in that tackle throw. Arm bar, the big damage. Next thing will do it. There's another grab. That's a KO. All right, four face buttons looking pretty good in this, but this is what happened exactly last time, too. Yeah. Uh, KB is on the deficit here, trying to get the follow up, but unfortunately stuck in the corner. Big uppercuts from four face buttons. And starting with basically a more than half health lead here. Yeah, hasn't even had to use any of the special bar until now. And yeah. you can't see it, but that was devastating going into that arm lock. Yeah, that tackle, that OTG tackle, catching a getup is so strong. Okay, perfect timing on that for like get the punish. Unfortunately, not the turret. Four face buttons going two to two. Yeah, this is our final game of losers finals. We're gonna see who goes into Grand Super Fight regular size Majin. All right, already like yeah, too far away for the running slide in there. Gets the punish afterwards, and uh, yeah, you got nearly one like like one third of your life bar gone from that alone. Yeah, already that that mount tackle is so scary. Those punches into that arm bar. Don't want to get hit by those if you can help it. That goes in, catches once more, repeats that convert, same as the first arm is. bar. Yeah, good job countering that that little scissor kick, taking the first round of the game five. 
Yeah, yeah. Going to go in there, <laughs> like yeah, using like a little bit of special move on that gauge, but to get cu get caught in the process here. Yeah, Claire definitely seems like a character that wants to take good advantage of those normals. Maybe doesn't have the the most uh, incredible specials in the world with those knives, but her normals devastating. If you get hit by a bunch of those overhead kicks in a row, yeah, look there, she's got her own spin, but she doesn't get dizzy. Yeah. <laughs> There, yep. Okay, switch over. Arm lock. Trying to finish out. One wants to get to that Ultima Finals, if you will. Yeah, I love that theming. Yeah. The Ultima Finals is so fun. Catch it on. Good blow block from KB's there. Gets like the dizzy on that. And he'll get the, the spanking. spanking corporal no punishment. <laughs> <laughs> get the fall up and like, oh. <laughs> uh, he's like, you are not my mother. Yeah. It's like, how dare you? Oh, wow. That was, uh, I wasn't expecting to see yeah. that today. <laughs> yeah, I saw that at Bulls. I wasn't expecting to see that afterwards, though. All right, getting the follow up. Four face buttons looking for set point here. Get the follow up. And it's like, what, <laughs> what is I happening? Got questions. I got questions. I'm not going to have them answered on stream. <laughs> not going to answer. I'm not going to ask. Gets on the follow up. Yeah, follow about it. Tried and true. I don't Going think follow this, is, up. this is not death. No, not death, but one more touch is all it needs. Could just go for the low. Just wait down on the ground. Oh, coming right in the oh! the <laughs> Goes in for the rebound. This crowd is going crazy, actually. I love this energy yeah. in this room. Oh, tried to go for the really big knives afterwards, but it was not to be. And it's going to be four face buttons. Going to be moving on to return on the run back against regular size Majin. Oh yeah, that was a that was a match. I love that. Masu does a crazy character. Yeah, no, I like, like seeing, I, I like watching that. Yeah, that that's one of those things where like you like you see one thing, you, like people tie on the one thing, and it's like, oh, we gotta handle this fast. We gotta figure out a solution. And there was definitely some things that KPS was trying to do to prevent that from happening. But it was like a lot of it was either trying to get the right time, and it wasn't like a significantly good punish, and it was just like it never deterred for face buttons from just continuing down that dash pipeline. Yeah, I mean. You know, there are not, in my opinion, there are not mm -hmm. too many things that are scarier than a top tier grappler. Yeah, no, no, not, not at all. It's yeah. just uh, <laughs> like you, uh, you were definitely like, especially in, in their home territory of a ring. Of the ring? You're God absolutely, yeah, you're right. God bless the ring. <laughs> It'd be fun. I, I wish that we could see some, some other wrestling moves, like more than just grabs, you know, throwing against the, against oh, yeah, the, yeah. Against the ropes. Yeah, throwing but. out, like doing the whip and kind of going back and forth on yeah. that. That would be great. Um, but here we are. Here we are all the way through. Hope you've been enjoying it so far, especially all the all the fantastic production that's been happening with CEO Otaku. Um, I I've been having a blast this entire weekend. Um, my my voice is starting to give a little bit, but that's okay because I'm watching her guys. Yeah, it's been an absolute joy to be here, and I'm so happy to cap off this weekend with a game like this of all games, mm. honestly. Yeah, this is kind of like it's kind of like the uh, the chaser afterwards. So like they're kind of yeah. relaxing, kind of like watching it, and everyone's just having a good time. Yeah, we appreciate all of you for being here with us today, for sure. Yeah. And it looks like we got the grappler competition happening here. Got like once again, everyone at home, everyone in here. God bless the ring. ring. God, God bless, bless the ring. ring. God bless the ring. Everyone super into it, and we got ourselves a real grappler fight between Dasher Inaba versus Masuda. Four face buttons on the loser side, regular Majin side, regular size Majin on the, the, the winning side with Inaba. Yeah, going with just the default costume instead of the suit this time. You know, keeping it professional. Yeah. Um, ha and like one in a thing, different way. Yeah, one thing I love <laughs> about this is Dash, uh, Dasher Inaba's ending in this game is an actual like eternal loop. Uh, when you win with that character, he just eats ramen forever, and it was what? like it, it just repeats the full motion video over and over until you hit start. It makes you <laughs> it makes you force to make a change. It's like it's like you like how much do you really like ramen? <laughs> he can if, he can eat twenty bowls before he hit the start button. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. But in the meanwhile, four face button, getting the first one. All right, get the follow up. Oh, gets a big uppercut. All right, let's see what. Uh, let's see if how warmed up four face buttons truly is. Regular size Majin sitting in the audience, not getting those training games in, wanting to make sure who his opponent was. Yeah, everyone being very slippery right now, not trying to get the first grab in here, waiting on that. Tries to go in a good jump from four face buttons, but get the follow up. Goes in there, locks it down. Get the break on that. One more time. Yeah, get. No, no armbar on that one. Yeah, the, the king moves. Work out. What's oh, he, what? what is he doing? <laughs> oh, my God. 
That's um. So everyone in this game, I believe that's one of the taunt moves on there. But um, like everyone has like different taunts based on like a direction and select. I think on that. Uh, <laughs> wow. What a move for Inova. I mean, yeah, it, that, that felt like a punch out move. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine the the NES noises. Yeah. <laughs> and he's just running towards you like that. Yeah, exactly. Very bold, bold style on that. Okay, throw face buttons up two, going in for it. I'm getting the back throw on there, just getting like some beat down on the head there. Are we going into this grab again? Though we once yeah. again can't see in the corner. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what's going on. It behind is those censored ropes. for like, yeah. government <laughs> eyes only. And none of us are government workers here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I love seeing it. <laughs> I love it's like we're laughing, the audience is laughing, we even got protection oh, back yeah. here laughing. We are all having a great yeah, time. Yeah, exactly. It. Okay, getting in with the mid kick there, four face buttons, getting the first one, looking to try to reset oh, that. We're getting into character change to Lee Shu Win. Okay. Okay, this is not a character I was expecting to see, honestly. Yeah, this is your um if again, if you're counting like Tekken clones out there, this is your kind of law like character. Yeah, on I believe it. so. Um, um, the the designer of this game worked on both Tekken and Virtual Fighter, so if you see like similarities to both, that's the reason why. We say that and then we're seeing party crashers. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Yeah, get the follow-up, trying to do it on the back tackle. Wait, this is a little bit more like Julia, actually. Now it really? Not, Mich or Michelle, I guess at, this, I guess at that point I, it would have been Michelle. Wouldn't yeah, it have been I, guess, Julia? I guess so. Oh, catching up. Uh, Son Goku staff does have the extra damage on that. What a jump from uh, regular size mod. Yeah. <laughs> from uh, four <laughs> face buttons. Yeah, got to take use of that 3D space. You don't want to get hit by these poles. Yeah, playing the, the Sung Mina game a little bit here. Get the follow-up. On the back. Oh, yep. Getting the can cans. Yeah. <laughs> Victory. That pole can definitely go almost all the way across the stage. You don't want to get sniped by it if you can help it. Puts him down. Okay, yeah, going up for the low in here, followed by the by the elbow. I can't help it. I can't call it anything but party crash. Oh! I see that elbow. I just think party crash. That's <laughs> yeah. all it is to me. Yeah, definitely. Like, uh, de like, like, shout out to the Julia players back at home. Always using Party Crasher, <laughs> and I'm having to feel the deficit of it. Regular size Majin seems like the choice has been working out in their favor. Goes in. Unfortunately, the the, the Goku staff goes out uh, the wrong way here. Get the follow up. Tries to go for the repeat on that afterwards. Four face button interrupts it. Yeah, Majin's meter already entirely used up from holding those poles. Not really gonna be able to <laughs> use that anymore. Gets in with the low here, followed by the uh, the elbow. Just going to go in, and I love like regular size Majin. I like, just had this in his pocket, trying to go for those air combos afterwards, and that's a quick three. Yeah, I mean, I can't say I was expecting a, another character at this level at this point in Grants. Yeah, but, I mean, <laughs> no, especially like from uh, uh, regular size Majin seems to be playing Dasher of uh, the Inaba the entire time. Yeah, I mean, he's he's coming from winners. We saw a decent proficiency in uh, in that first winners finals match. So it's quite surprising to uh, see a different character pick. But I like to see it. I like to see more mm -hmm. characters. It's like we said, like seeing more original characters. Characters, yeah. it's neat. All right, catching on though there. Like th close in there. Nice, perfect for four face buttons. Yeah, maybe the surprise pick, but maybe already figuring it out a little bit. Maybe don't need to be so uh, hasty in your approaches. Okay, yep. Yeah, again, falling with the fall in the low into the high in there, like working for massive damage. That time getting blocked on there. Oh, Chap oh, with the flip. Going right over him and putting it. Li Xuan in the corner. Yep, okay, tried and true. Gets in there, followed by the arm bar. Significant dunk. Four face buttons seem to have re recomposed themselves after that, after that very quick match. Running straight in. That should be it. Yep, two rounds to nothing. Four face buttons looks to be uh, potentially taking us to uh, a game four right quick. Okay, yeah, like actually ducked under with the low there, avoided Masuda's attack there. A very nice move on there. And follow up, I like that to jump back in there into the Goku Bowl, realizing that you can't really once the once the trajectory has started with the with the running low like the running low, you can't stop it. <laughs> Such a scary move. That Superman punch doing big damage. Woo! Uppercut. That's a round for regular size Majin in this round three. And it's game three. Okay, yeah, try to go for the, the party crasher after that. Nope, throws him right off. Okay, yep. Again, whiffs on the, th on the throw grab afterwards. And God, that goes Ooh, so, so the far. Spear flip. There's a the oh. top move. What's oh, oh, my goodness. My God. How much I, I wasn't looking was at the life bar. Was that a total kill? Was that a, 
I think it was. Woo he said you are going to learn. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Like, you got to understand. You got to respect the master. I don't know what that was. Okay. <laughs> Good yeah. forward. And yeah, it's an excellent here. Excellent. Woo. And that's two up for regular size modules. That's, that's the virtual fighter. The excellent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to go excellent. Or alternatively, alternatively, I mean, we got Leon screen exit. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, the follow up on there, yeah, the four hit uh, combo blocked part of it in there. Get the follow up. Four face buttons is trying to keep composure. Get the follow up in the arm bar here. Yeah, but four face button still added big life de or a decent sized life deficit. Regular size Majin wants to clean this up, taking the first round. And the mess is getting clean up. Uh, regular size Majin becoming the maid of this ring. Yeah. <laughs> Cleaning it up right quick. Pull. Yeah, going up back in there, like breaks off before the arm bar here. Yeah, big life lead. Trying to still go in that Superman punch. Yeah, Spear? <laughs> Love that. The, 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 like, the lack of physics on that like that trajectory. I don't know how it hits, but it hit well. That is a, uh, <laughs> a, it looks like a piece one. Oh, here's that same grab. Oh, we yeah. This oh, time. no. Oh. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine turning on the stream. You turn on the stream for the first time. Yeah, and that's, and what that's you it. See. That's what you see. But the regular size budget here at tournament point. Tournament point. <laughs> oh. In round three. One, two round straight. Let's see if we can get a third. Once Big again. life lead right at the start. Yeah, four face buttons to try to go and get the whip. This time does get connected, get counter for it. Oh, and we, oh no. almost at it. We almost ready. it again. Almost, almost. That would have been, I would have loved to see that be it. Trying to make it happen. Trying to trying to make it happen in the best of ways here. Get the follow up there. Break it off here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Goes in for the arm bar. Not trying to yet, get but this is four face buttons round to lose. Unless Majin can. Bring something out of the pocket. I don't know where the spear coming out. <laughs> Big damage. That's oh, it. That's it. Let's and go. like you were talking about, like bringing something out of the pocket, bringing out the Sun Goku stick and striking down Masuda. And it's going to be regular sized Majin winning the fur, the like the most recent biggest <laughs> Ur Guys tournament in known history. Wow. God bless the ring. God bless the ring. <laughs> you hear that crowd They're out there. on his knees. He's bowing down to the ring. <laughs> the what a great crowd. Yeah, the ring giveth and the ring taketh. But for right now, the ring give the giveth to regular size Majin for an amazing battle there. Switching over to the Lee Shu win just to finish it out. Like, I was not, I'll be honest, wasn't expecting that, especially after all the grappling that Dasher Inoba was yeah. happening on there. But then to like pull that out, I was like, okay. Hello, you. We got and, something different happening all of a sudden. And what a fun character! I yeah, mean, that exactly. taunt, chop to the, uh, yeah, the, the chop to the back of the neck, mm -hmm. just taking him completely out. Yeah, definitely going into like the taunt finish afterwards, <laughs> and I, I didn't get the second one, but you know, one is all. One is all you need. One what? is all you know. You need. you landed it once. So, yes. so when you have a character with a funny move like that, if you land it once, yeah. you've accomplished everything. You won, you won the game. Yeah, do you do it on stream? There you go. That's all you need. You can yeah. talk about that moment for years and years to come. Yeah. I know I would. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but everyone, hope hope you've been enjoying watching all this action here on CEO Taku 2023 on Juicy Game Night and all the other streams throughout the entire weekend. Like everybody's been great, production's been great, the crowds have been great. Everyone's just been cheering and happy. I'm just so happy to be here. Yeah, this has been a really 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 good event. I'm really really glad I decided to come out for oh, sure. Oh yeah. I'm really glad I got to be here right now commentating air guides. That was a great time. Oh yeah. That was a great top <laughs> yeah. six, honestly. Yeah. I God. really enjoyed that. God. Bless the ring. God bless this ring. So, yeah, we're getting everything kind of put together right now for top eight. Um, uh, yeah, just uh, just in the meantime, I know there's still a few streams happening on here, but uh, we're going to try to get like kind of wrap it up, get the medals out there. You've got to see these medals also if you haven't yet. We're going to switch over to that camera very shortly. But, like, when you see it, like, like they're really fitting in with the theme. Yeah. I mean, this is this is the bracket that the medals fit the theme of, honestly, yeah, exactly. of, of any bracket. I mean, this is the Final Fantasy game that we – the only Final Fantasy game here that we've seen all weekend. So, oh yeah, I mean that's that's the, it's it's the medals fit the game. Yeah, exactly, exactly, and especially like you know, like, like we were talking about earlier, everyone's one of them is like put Tifa in Tekken. It's like okay, we you know what, fine, we'll we'll bring the fighting game with Tifa in it. Yeah, I mean Tekken already, I mean, we already got a Final Fantasy. Game. No, we don't. Yeah, I guess yeah. it would fit the theme of Tekken if a if yeah. a if a Noctis player won. Yeah. 
Tekken. Ooh. Oh, very possible. VDX out there, like, quite, like focusing on the Noctis. Now, uh, now I know, like, Tekken was a side tournament, like, this yeah. year, but it's, uh, and definitely, like, they, they had, like, there was some very wrestling based chants that were <laughs> happening out there. It was exciting. It's exciting the entire time. But, uh, but yeah, they're, they're trying to get it. They're getting everyone lined up. And we're going to swap over right here, right now. Gentlemen, give it up for your Ur guys. Top eight. <laughs> Top six. My bad. Top six. Top six. We don't need about thing. Do me a favor. One last time. Give us a God bless green. God bless me. Thank you. But this is your top six. Tied for fifth place, we have Tommy Tamsworth. Also tied for fifth place, the guy who has to sign my paychecks after this event. Alex Jabaley! <laughs> All right, in fourth place, Orlando's own Argon! In third place, give it up for K Beast. I am losing my voice. In second, our runner up, also from Orlando, give it up for Four Face Buttons. I need water. Yeah, he will be, whatever. And last, and most certainly not least, give it up for your champion, regular sized Majin! Before all that, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of everyone here at CEO and hopefully on behalf of Jabali here, we would like to thank you all for coming out to this event. We would like to thank you all for supporting this event. Without any of you, none of this is possible. So give yourselves a round of applause as well, everyone. Also, also one last time just for me, because I love this so much. Give me one more God bless the ring. Your Ergie's top six, everyone! Right there first, everyone. Remember, go up to like see your neighbors, see your family, see your friends. Go up to them and make sure they know in their heart of hearts to remember to God bless the ring. Remind them that this ring has been blessed by God himself. Exactly. Get a Hallmark card if you absolutely need it. But in the meantime, you got plenty of action. In the meantime, we don't know what the theme is going to be next year. We might find out. We might not. Who knows on that. But hopefully we'll see you next time. I've been Risky Sweep. And I'm Kateo. Have a good one.